What's going on, everybody? We're going to be talking about today's drops and a few things that have been on my mind as uh, I've been thinking throughout the day at work. So let's get into it. Today we had the drops of the UPS, USPS stamp, and the overwhelming response that it received is completely crazy, in my opinion. I get it. It's government and all that good stuff, and it really makes you think. That really tells me how strong BB really is because... They've got the government involved now. Some people might hate that, but at the end of the day, we've got big licenses. Everything's official. They're doing it by the books. You know, hey, I'm all for it. If the government's behind it, by God, that's fine with me too. Even though I don't agree with a lot of stuff they do. But anyway, at the end of the day, it shows how positive the Omi and Ecomi token can be in its future where a lot of these sketchy cryptos like SHIB and all these dog coins and all that that have next to no utility where bb's got all these licenses well that tells me that we are in the right direction so we got the day of the dead stamp which is pretty cool there was four of them common uncommon rare and ultra rare and man i tell you what the common and uncommon are just about the same price which doesn't make sense to me i seen these things going the commons going for roughly 10 gems at one point now i think they're like at a 60 40 to 60 dollar common which is insane uh, the ultra rares were going for 300 last time I looked, but the, I seen them at a low of 120 when they first released. But people were buying them up like crazy. I was trying to get some, and I said, "Nah, I, I've chased too many things, and, and you know, out of all the ones I've chased, I've always seemed to have lost my butt." But then coming ahead, so if I miss this train, then so be it. But I have a feeling uh, with the next con coming up that BB is going to be involved in. Uh, you know, we're going to have a lot of drops coming out. I cannot remember for the life of me what it was called. But if it's anything like uh, the last Comic Con or New York Con or whatever it was that come out, everything tanked because they just did drop after drop after drop after drop and just got crazy and everybody was broke as F. And, well, let's just say I probably see that coming. And that's probably when I'm going to pick these stamps up. And who knows? They might hold their value. might rock it up. But at the end of the day, I think that's when I'm going to try to get mine. So I went ahead and capitalized on my uh, Zombie Captain America Ultra Rare to complete my set because I got a comment on the drop, and that's cool. You know, it, the set cost me a total of 270 bucks. So, hey, that's probably the cheapest set you can buy right now is the uh, Zombie Captain Americas, which I think they're pretty cool. Uh, we also had the comic, the Ultimates, number one today, and I don't know if comics have lost steam or what's going on with them, but there is, there was... There was commons going for, I think, eight bucks or eight gems at one point. And everything's cheap all the way up to the top, secret rare. I don't know, maybe it just doesn't have a lot of steam for that comic, but I, I see comics slowing down a whole lot compared to the way they were going. So that's today's drops. What'd you get? Did you get the ultra rares? Did you get the secret rares? Um, I have not had any luck. I've done nothing but commons. And I'm over comics for the most part. I don't even read things. I'm just doing it for flipping values, hopefully one day. But I am a hodler, and I will be holding this stuff long term. So, kind of what I wanted to talk about also as well is some stuff that is undervalued that I need you to think about. And one of them is the Spider-Man, the zombie Spider-Man with the cape. A lot of people might not like the design, but its current common floor price is 43 bucks. It released at 50, so it's undervalued in my opinion. There's only 18,000 of the commons, where if you think back to the first release Spider-Man, there's 32,000, and the floor price is 110 on those. Now, granted, it's the first ever Spider-Man, yada, 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 all that good stuff. But at the end of the day, you got to think about it. When the metaverse comes out, you're going to have kids wanting the Spider-Man wearing a cape. And I could see that being very popular in the long run. So I've stacked up a few of those myself. And also the zombie cap. Captain America is going for 30 gem floor price. It released at 50. It's almost halfway under value, or you know, halfway down from release, which is crazy. But you can pick these up all day. And I, I've got like four, five, six of them. I can't remember. I bought a few more today at like 30 bucks. I think long term it's going to be a good hold for me. And I'm going to be trying to scoop up some more as I can accumulate some more gems from selling a few other things. Um, you know, you got. Um, Another one I think is going to be good in the long term is you got to think about, we know with OpenSea coming and the way Vivi's really evolved and is just way ahead of the game, I could, OpenSea to me is nothing. 
I think they knew about Coinbase opening up their own NFT thing. And if I had my bet, I would say Coinbase, it'll be going on Coinbase as well as OpenSea. Why wouldn't it at this point, especially with Marvel? Because they're going to be wanting to make all that money that they could possibly make. So um, a lot of these, we know for sure, the Labbit and Jermaine Rogers rabbits will for sure be going to OpenSea. If that's the case, we're going to Coinbase. And right now, these are at very good prices. You might want to look into those, maybe get a couple. For me, I'm really stocking up on the uh, Army Rabbit one. I can't remember the name. But there's a lot of people in the military. And I'm telling you, once this gets out, I feel like those are going to be solid as can be. Um, our next drop is Thursday, November 4th. And it is the Eternals first appearance. Now, with the way comics are going, I mean... If it's anything like the show that come out, it did not get good reviews. Who knows how this is going to go. It seems like there's some excitement for this uh, comic coming up. So, I mean, I'm going to try. I mean, who ain't going to try for that secret rare, you know? So, it's something to think about. Uh, so, just be sure to set your alarms for all that good stuff. And i seen on Facebook, or yeah, BB's Facebook, not on their page, but on a comment that somebody's got BB's logo you even go to their page, it's got all their stuff that they've got on there, and they're like, send 0.03 to 0.3 bitcoins, and you'll receive triple-double whatever back, and it's a scam. So please don't do that. Please remember that that is a bunch of crap. Ain't, ain't nobody giving you nothing. So just don't fall for that. Please, for the love of God, don't do that. And let's see here. Almost forgot the main thing I wanted to talk about. I know there's a lot of concern coming up with the... Um, Immutable X migration, and you know, I've been going back and forth wondering if it is going to dump or is it going to pump. And initially I thought it was going to dump, because everybody's going to be selling their stuff, they're going to be getting their gems, they've been, you know, and that's going to happen. But here's something you got to think about. I remember hearing about this a couple months ago. A lot of wells are just foaming at the mouth to get into VV. Like, especially when the uh, Secret Rare Spider-Man was like at two grand. I remember listening to some top crypto people saying, oh my God, I wish I could get in here and buy every single one of these up right now at two grand because it's way undervalued, way, way, way undervalued. But they can't, they've had to cash their crypto out, get it to a bank and then get it onto the app. And when you do that, guess what? You got to start filing taxes and claiming that stuff. And a lot of these people with a lot of money do not want to do that. You know what I'm saying? And so you got to think, is it going to tank or is it going to go up? Because once people can cash their crypto out into the OMI token and get it on there, you can say goodbye to all these low-priced NFTs. They're all gone. Like, why wouldn't you? I mean, think about it. If you've got, say, a million bucks and you could go in there and just clean out whatever that's got two, 3,000 editions of whatever to complete sets. And you've got those people with big money. It's like, yeah, I'm going to complete this set, but if you own 70... 80% of the stock of, you know, what's floating around out there, you pretty much name your price. You can double your money easy if you can do that. And we all know people have made a lot of money here lately in crypto. And it's definitely getting mass adoption. So I don't really think it's going to go down in price at all. I think, you know, there might be an initial sell-off. But as soon as one of these big guys gets on there and just scoops everything up that he can possibly scoop up, he's going to tell his friends they're going to come in and do it. And in the short term, there might be a dip, but I think before you before it's over with, we're going to be seeing a whole lot of empty shelves on there, kind of like what we're dealing with in the real world right now. So it's something to think about. Do you think uh, Mutable X migration is going to hurt VV or help it? And do you think it's going to be kind of like Open Sea, where only big daddies get in there, and this little guys ain't going to? But hey, you're early. You're in this. Let's capitalize on this. Let's let's think about it. Let's talk about it. I want to hear what you've got to say, what you think, and how do you feel about it. I think I'm going to try to keep stacking up on some of this lower tier stuff because, you know, there's like, what is it, 8 billion people in the world? Well, you think about these collectibles, 3 billion, whatever it is. I can't remember. Anyway, say a billion for whatever. You think about these collectibles where there's only 3,000, 5,000, even 6,000, even 30,000 in these comics. That's it. They're not going to make 2.0s of it, I don't think. But I don't see them doing it because it's going to hold its value. So with Facebook getting into the metaverse and the direction it's going, 
if VU does their stuff right, which I feel like they will because they have all these licenses and it's going to be incredible. And they even said if Facebook wants to join them, they will, but they're not going to join Facebook. And if that's the case, it's going to get real wild and crazy real soon. And even not, you got a year or two, that's fine. Heck, I can think of how much stuff I've lost money on in the past and all this stuff back here that, you know, if I had it my way, I'd have digital collectibles because I hate dealing with it. It's nice to look at and hold it and all that stuff. But at the end of the day, I'm trying to retire early and I see VV doing it for me. So if you like what you heard, hit the like, please. Uh, it lets me know you're at least watching. I'm going to continue this content as long as I get those. And be sure to drop a comment and uh, drop a subscribe. So until next time, we'll holla.